Question, the member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question to the Deputy Premier. When the Premier was elected in 2014, she promised that she would be different. She promised a clean slate, a break from her party's scandal-ridden recent past. Instead of a break from the past, we have more broken promises and more scandal. The Premier and her government need to take very seriously the implication of the Minister of Energy in the allegations of bribery. She needs to show the people who voted for her that she will put the interests of Ontarians before the political interests of her party. Speaker, to the Deputy Premier, when will the Minister of Energy be stepping down from Cabinet? Thank you. Deputy Premier. Uh, Minister, uh, Attorney General. Well, thank you very much again, uh, 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 Speaker. And um, you know, it's unfortunate that NDP continues to ask questions which they know are are not relevant uh, to the matters that uh, um, are before this House. Uh, I think the NDP also, Speaker, knows that the Minister of Energy is under no investigation. Uh, there are no allegations towards him. And there are no charges towards him as well. Uh, speaker, he is, uh, he is somebody who is hardworking, he's earnest, who works extremely hard to serve his community of Sudbury. Uh, as the Minister of Energy, he is focused in making sure that we continue to improve to be the everyday lives of Ontarians. Uh, one of the very important measures, Speaker, that he's brought forward is, is permanently cutting 8% yes, of the HST from all hydro bills that will come into effect on January the 1st, 2000. 2017, uh, Speaker, the member uh, from Sudbury will continue you. to do his job. Thank you. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, again to the Deputy Premier. The fact that this government is using a court case where two top Liberal political aides are being accused of breaking election law as a reason to not answer what is really a straightforward question speaks volumes. Speaks volumes, Speaker. If the Deputy Premier had been implicated in a bribery scandal, would she not step aside until her name had been completely cleared? Wouldn't she want the people in her riding and across Ontario to have complete faith in her integrity and her honesty? Wouldn't she? You'd think so. Come on, I'll see. Okay. Speaker, the, the facts are as follows. Um, uh, there are uh, allegations in a matter. A personal Two vendetta. individuals who do not serve in this House are charged in that matter. That matter is before court. The Minister of Energy is not uh, implicated. Uh, Minister of Energy, oh, no. Speaker, is under no investigation. Uh, and, Speaker, there are no charges towards the Minister of no. Energy whatsoever. Furthermore, Speaker, the matters that is dealt with in that issue has nothing to do with the roles and responsibilities of the minister as the minister of energy. In fact, Speaker, these are the facts. NDP can try to ignore the facts, um, and that's their prerogative, Speaker. But the facts of this matter is clear. There is no reason whatsoever for the minister of energy to step down. Answer. In fact, there is even more reason, Speaker, that he continues to serve the people of Sudbury. That he continues to serve as the minister of energy. He's doing Thank a good you. job at it, and we have full faith and confidence in him. Thank you. Thank you.